All right, guys, we're just going to review a few things from the last lesson, okay? To just nothing like going over some of the skills you've learned, and the more times you practice them, the better you will get at this, and it becomes more intuitive. Notice that my screen has the perspective view and an attribute editor, and you're going, what is that all about? Not a problem. First and foremost, I'd like you guys to change it and go into the channel box, okay? The channel box, for example, will give you information as to translation, rotation, scale, and as well the information here. I mentioned in the past, I'm, I'm zooming in and out. If I press 5, it's shaded view. Um, all right, and I'm going to change the height quickly to 3. And I'm going to give you some maybe different cuts here and subdivision 3. Okay, I just added, whoa, wrong way, Bellion. Uh, subdivision height to 6 and have it inverse here, 3. Lovely. All right, I also noticed the height is 3. And let me zero out the X uh, and the Z right there. And what I want to do is go to halfway up from 3 is 1.5. So I have this at ground level, okay? Just so you know, get comfortable moving things around. So notice if I just, um, sorry, just press W here. If I move this one, you see that the X is negative 4. I'm just going to bring it to 0. So you should get comfortable zeroing out your X and Z work off the center of your workspace, okay? Sure, uh, I'm not going to make this too complicated. You guys are in grade 9. Some of you may watch this in grade 10 as well as a review. That's fine with me. All right, so we're going to actually um, model a rook or a castle, just terms of rook. So let's use a couple of the tools that we've learned. Okay, we want to extrude. We know this cylinder is built up of faces, vertices, and edges. If I go verts, it's a plural of vertex. I'm going to work with faces right now. Okay, just so just quickly click once, hold shift, and double click the next one. Lovely. Um, Maya will select a whole ring for you. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm using my uh, Alt button and left, uh, which is Option on the Mac, and uh, left button, and I'm orbiting around my work. Okay, and let's go to the uh, Extrude tool, which happens to be Polygons, Polygon tab, right here, the little, lovely little icon here. Uh, four squares and one of them um, extruding out. Notice that uh, this little icon here, the blue one, which center your um, your tripod. Now that's kind of nice. It's easy to extrude when it's off the center. You don't have to. Okay, I'm going to click out right now just so to prove my point. Okay, I'm going to click once, hold shift, double click, boom. If I press G, repeat last command, and I can just simply not use this blue icon and just see, um, extrude out here, which is fine. Okay, um, that works as well, but sometimes you guys will get lost. It's easier to keep things centered in my opinion. All right neither here nor there it's up to you so click once hold shift let's get let's select every second one okay easy enough there we go and one more again what are we going to do we're going to extrude click once and again in this situation i like to have it in the center just so that i can have fun there it is okay look at that huge crazy looking awesome all good all right so now i want to do is uh taper taper some of these parts here right and that's using the scale tool. As we know, uh, the cylinder is made up of also edges. So if I right click, select an edge, watch how cool this is. If I double click now, I don't have to do how I did um, the faces before polygons. I just have to click once or double click and it'll give you the whole ring because it's an edge. So if I press R for scale, and remember this please, um, we are going to scale from the center, not from up here, out there, or anything like that. So watch here in the center, nicely done. Okay, easy now. So if I can come back here, double click, do the same thing, and there you have it, right? Now, I also mentioned that this stone is also made up of vertices, right? So if I right click, get my spider web out, ooh, I love that, and then select my vertex uh, button there. So watch this, if I, if I um, select this way in terms of this view, it's not really in the front view, I'm just doing a marquee select, and now uh, we'll do this, and we're gonna bring this up Look at that. You can control how things work. Okay, now watch. If I select all the vertices up to this point and select up or down, see what happens? You're actually um, increasing the height of this object. So it's not necessarily that you get it right in the beginning. It's okay, you guys. You can just do, uh, you can expand it accordingly after. Okay, so that, uh, again, you know, you're in grade 9, you may not be too comfortable playing with vertices at this point. So I'm going to right-click and go to face, and let's just click on one here, one face, double-click, get the whole ring going, and then let's go to extrude. And I'm going to use the thickness here, okay, there. See that? Nice. We've got the base going. 
and I'm going to get out of this by pressing W. I'm going to actually maybe, um, let's see, what else can we do here? I'm going to right click and go back to Edge and double click this edge here. And the, the folks, if, if, you, if you're in, let's say out here and you're selecting something and it's not, you're not getting a double click or ring, just zoom in and do the, and click out, do it again. Okay, so if you click once here, oh yeah, I got it, double click it, not working here. I'm going to highlight over it, double click, it works, okay? See right here, one, two, three, that's extruded and it works fine. Okay, this is very simple and again, um, we'll get more into details here, okay, later. Uh, let's do something here in the middle. Uh, why don't I add more cuts in here, okay? I'm going to show you this awesome, awesome tool. Again, we're in polygons, and I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, okay? This is really cool. And you're saying, oh, I need more cuts in here. What do I do? I don't have enough edges to make windows, perhaps. So watch. Boom. Click. Let go. It works perpendicular of the direction you're going, right? So if I was oh, going here, see that way? Okay, Command Z, or just Z, actually. Now, here's the best part. You need uh, the most important part, in my opinion. If you use this tool, I want you to immediately get out of it. Either press W or Q. Okay, otherwise you're going to be cutting like no tomorrow. It's, the tool is going to be stuck. You're not going to be get out. There's no right click like 3ds Max and click out. Just at this point, W, you're out of the function. Sometimes you can right click and uh, uh, complete command, things like that. Okay, so there it is. I'm happy with this. And uh, maybe I should cut this uh, lesson short so it would be uh, bite sized for you guys. Another thing, if I click out right now, I'm not seeing my edges, right? Well, this is what I like to see. When I'm uh, viewing my objects in a viewport, I like to have wireframe on shaded selected. Okay, so it's under shading, wireframe on shaded. Okay, so this way, without clicking, I can see the edges. Okay, so your edge flow is very important. All right, this is good review for you guys. I'm going to say belly out.